Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything, about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then. Please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Hmm, what could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. <gasps> or perhaps... What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. With each moon, professors of the Officers' Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. Okay. 
I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. Yes. His Highness has said that he trusts you, and I have no cause for doubt. But if you mistreat him in any way, I will take action. I have a request. I trust you're eager to face the Black Eagles in battle. Enjoy the thrill of anticipation while it lasts. Soon you'll wish you had chosen to lead our house instead. If you continue to insist on distracting me, I will have no choice but to get rid of you. Joking, of course. <laughs> Listen to this. Wow, Yuritsa sure seems strong. I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. I could probably take you, though. <laughs> Seriously? You should really work on your self-confidence if you're planning on being a professor. I care nothing of friendship. If you have no business here, leave. provenance of our class name? The Eagle. That refers to the twin-headed eagle on the Adrestian Empire's coat of arms. And black is the traditional color of the Empire's armor. Hence, Black Eagles. Lion House derived its name from the honorary title of the first king of Fargus. Lug, the king of lions, wore brilliantly blue garments. His chivalric exploits are recorded in multiple legends. The library holds various historical accounts regarding him and the blue lions. If you find time, you should read them. They're filled with insights. Right, right. Before I came to the Officers' Academy, I attended a school of magic in the Kingdom Capital. That's where I met Annie. That's what I call Annette. Oh, I guess Lawrence was at the school of magic too. But Annie was always just so nice to me, even though I was older. She's my best friend in the world. Oh. Yes, it's true that I'm the only commoner in the Black Eagle House. I knew that before the first day of class. Those people are simply exhausting. Okay. Listen. Monastery, I have had many great learnings from many great people. I am hopeful to have learnings from you, too. As forever, I will do my best trying. Hello there, Professor. Well, I call you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. Should the opportunity arise, I would love to become a student and begin my studies in earnest. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Might you help me with a favor? 
I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. Hey there. Hey, Professor. If you got spare time, wanna join me for a trip into town? We could try to pick up beautiful girls. Or not. I'm kidding. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. I'm Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. Um, I, uh, was just heading back to my room. Bye! I don't like to come out unless I really have to. Hope you're okay with that, Professor. Teach, I hear there's gonna be a mock battle between the houses. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us, what do you say? Oh, Professor, have you adjusted to life at the Academy yet? Me, I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. Professor. I hear there will be a mock battle soon. We must not neglect our training. I trust that you will carefully study the strengths and weaknesses of each of your students, that you may provide effective guidance. Regardless of the results, this battle will be a great learning experience. Even so, what is the point of competition if the aim isn't to win? As this is your first time at the monastery, please allow me to show you the ropes. Both students and teachers of the Officers' Academy are free to use the facilities within the monastery. For example, you can dine with others at the dining hall, or partake in one-on-one -on -one combat at the training grounds. I encourage you to wander around the monastery and lend an ear to the people living here. There are bulletin boards in various places around the monastery. Have you seen them, Professor? There you can find requests from various sources, as well as information about the market. If you fulfill these requests, you should eventually be able to use even more of the facilities here. The bulletin board gets updated frequently. You would do well to check it once a month. This probably goes without saying, but no matter which facility you use, it will take up a considerable amount of your time. It's helpful to plan out activities in advance, so that you don't mistakenly squander your time here. Professors at the Officers' Academy are expected to have exceptional leadership skills. Students and teachers alike must devote themselves to their studies and strive to acquire great wisdom even outside their respective fields. No. <sighs> the great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. 
I could just forget all about my assignment. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. Let's see... I'm a little busy. If you're looking for the greenhouse, it's right there. See it? Looks like a greenhouse. That's it. I'm a little busy. something I can't right now but let's fight soon I look forward to beating all right greetings professor nothing to report by the by have you ever regretted a decision and wished you could go back and undo it it's too bad there's no lesson for how to turn back the old clock, huh? But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss anyhow. Indeed. As part of our commitment to the goddess, the knights undertake various missions across all of Fodlan. Assisting with the education of young nobles is also a part of our sacred duty. Professor, uh, I have a teeny tiny question for you, if that's all right. You haven't seen a man with hair the same color as mine, a scowling face, and a generally gloomy demeanor, have you? Well, yes. It's a bit difficult to explain. Please just let me know if you do see him, okay? Yes, I hear a member of House Fressville, the ruling family of the Empire has entered the Officer's Academy for the first time in ages. It is said that the Adrestian Empire's very founding was aided by none other than Saint Seros. That is why the crest of Seros is on the Imperial flag. In recent years, a rift has developed between the Empire and the Church. Let us hope this will be a good opportunity for both parties to reforge their close relationship of years past. Here's an idea. There are two types of crests. Major crests manifest their power most effectively, while minor crests are slightly weaker. It is said that the closer a person's blood relation is to various saints and heroes, the higher their chance of bearing a major crest. Of course, there are also examples of major crests manifesting in children whose parents bear no crest whatsoever. The exact nature of how and why crests are inherited is still a mystery. Professor, have you gotten around to visiting the library yet? It's absolutely loaded with valuable information. I only wish I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep, so I could spend all my hours there. In a manner, yes. But it's more that I want to learn as much as I possibly can.
Well, of course. Do bear in mind that even as you are appraising your students, they are appraising you as well. I hope that you will do your best to form lasting bonds with your flock. Oh, and I look forward to witnessing your prowess in the mock battle. Church has changed a lot since my time. Sedith, Hanuman, Manuela, Yuritsa, and many of the knights. None of them were around 20 years ago. I think. Captain Gerald has hardly changed since 20 years ago. I've aged at least three times as much as he has. Why am I talking about this? Oh, right. It was because I just overheard Tomas remarking on the subject. The leader of a legendary group of knights returned. People are bound to be talking about the old captain. Yeah. A mock battle? This early? Wow, Professor. They're not giving you any time to settle in, are they? Don't worry, though. Should you get injured, I will care for you all through your recuperation. I will see to you, oh so very, very personally. Apparently there is to be a mock battle between the houses. Interesting, but I hope you understand that I have far more important things on my mind. My research is proceeding slower than I would like. Your crest is something of a challenge. Frustrating. Yet also quite intriguing. I was wondering if I might get a sample of your flesh. A couple square inches would do. No, perhaps some blood. A couple of drops on the device are all I need. Oh, thank you, Professor. Those few drops of blood are invaluable to my research. Oh, so much more to learn. Oh, thank you, Professor. Those few drops of blood are invaluable to my research. Oh, so much more to learn. I think. <gasps> Professor, I hear you are lacking in knowledge of the Church of Seros. The library contains countless documents about the teaching and the history of the church. I encourage you to make good use of them. What the? Say now. Tomas has served as the monastery's librarian for decades. Actually, he was away from Garigmok for a spell, but he returned to his post last year. There is no one as familiar with the monastery's archives as he is.
My thanks. me so much. Greetings. Listen. Um, our house is that of the Golden Deer. Do you know the significance of that name, Professor? Golden Deer are sacred creatures said to have protected Lester since time immemorial. All three of the houses have a meaning behind their name. You should feel free to ask around if that sort of knowledge interests you. This is the Golden Deer House. You're in charge of a different class, right? Too bad we won't see more of each other. I'm happy to learn from you if the opportunity comes up. 